Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Furigan Brevent 3W1 textile jacket. Furigan's Brevent textile jacket gets the second bit of its title, the 3W1 bit, because this is a three-in-one jacket. The waterproof membrane and the thermal liner can both be taken out, which gives you three potential configurations for the jacket. You can have both liners in for cold days, you can have just the waterproof liner in for wet, warm days, and you can take both liners out for warm and dry days, hence 3W1 or 3M1. So let's run through the key info and the details and also let you know our verdict on it. The outer shell is made from tough polyester with some stronger reinforcement overlays here at the shoulders and also at the elbows. It's tough enough to get an overall CE rating to the AA level, which is the middle of the three levels available. The jacket fastens with a large zip up the front and there's a storm flap behind it. And then if you're using the waterproof liner, you need to zip that up separately on the inside. There's no flap over the top of the zip on this jacket, which isn't the best for keeping out rain, but it does mean you don't have to faff about fastening another flap over the top of the zip. The collar on this jacket is really simple. It just fastens with Velcro and you can also hook it back out of the way if that's what you want to do. The cuffs are also really simple. There's a zip with a Velcro flap across the top and the zip's a two-way thing. So you can leave the bottom closed, pull it down from the top and open up a vent on the lower arm. What I will say is this has to be one of the slimmest cuffs of any jacket I've ever worn and I've worn a lot of jackets. If you wear your gloves over the jacket cuff, then this is really good news as it's easy to get gloves over the top without worrying about folding over an excess of sleeve. It's also fine if you wear short gloves, probably really obviously, but if you like to wear your gloves on the inside of your jacket, then I think you can really forget that idea completely. I asked Furigan about that, and they say that riders in France, which is where Furigan are based, all wear their gloves over their jacket, which explains why they've made it work that way. With fit adjustment on this jacket, you get tabs at the lower hem, there's belts at the waist and the lower arms, and then Velcro tabs on the upper arms. They help pull the jacket in when you're riding without the liners in place. And there are plenty of venting options as well for those hot days where you want to take the liners out. The most prominent ones are here on the chest, which unzip there, and they can then be folded over and secured with a press stud to allow air to flow across that panel there. There's a similar arrangement on the back, but on the back it folds all the way down and there's room underneath to tuck the vent cover out of the way so you get better air intake there. The last vents are the ones I covered earlier, which are these ones on the bottom of the cuffs just here. In terms of pockets, Furigan lists this jacket as having six exterior pockets. So there are these two, the obvious ones on the front, which have Velcro openings on top, but they aren't rated as waterproof. There's the customary lower back pocket that you find on most touring jackets like this. And then there's a small pocket on the left sleeve for things like cards and toll tickets. So for me, that's four, but then Furigan pointed out the other two are the sections behind these front pockets, which are actually handy for keeping your hands warm when you're not riding. As I said earlier, the two inner linings for this jacket are both removable. The waterproof membrane is listed as having a 10,000 millimeter static head, which is a pretty regular rating for waterproof motorcycle kit. As well as being breathable, it's also windproof, which just goes to show that you need to remove it to get the best benefit from having those vents open. Now, I've not worn this jacket myself in the rain, but one of our regular reviewers took this one away on a tour in Southern Europe, and he ended up riding in quite a lot of heavy rain. For spells of up to two hours or so of wet weather on the continent, he said this jacket kept him perfectly dry, but when he got back to Britain and then had a five hour ride through really heavy rain, this jacket was unable to cope and it did get through to his skin. If you want to, you can read David's full review by following the link in the description below. This jacket has a full sleeve thermal liner as well as that waterproof membrane, and I did get the chance to use this one in cold weather. I rode with a base layer, a t-shirt, and then this jacket with both layers inside it, and I found it kept me perfectly warm in temperatures of around 10 degrees Celsius. There's shoulder and elbow armor included with the jacket, which is soft and comfortable D3O armor that meets the basic level one of the CE standard for impact protection. There's a pocket for a back protector, but you need to buy the protector itself separately. As we record this, a CE Level 2 back protector insert for this jacket costs £41. As I said earlier, the overall CE rating for this jacket is bang in the middle of the three levels. It's double A. In terms of pockets on the inside, there's a waterproof Napoleon pocket just behind the main zip, and you've got access to that in any configuration you wear the jacket in. And then on top of that, there are two additional pockets in the thermal liner if you're riding with that in place. For connecting it to riding trousers, there's just a short connection zip. There are no specific matching trousers for this jacket. Furigan suggests pairing it with their Appalachies, which have a fixed waterproof membrane. So personally, I'd say that's not really the ideal combination. Furigan have got a new pair of trousers coming soon called the Appalachies Vented, where the thermal liner and waterproof membrane are combined and can come out to leave just the textile outer trousers. Again, they're not an exact match to this jacket spec, but I would say it's closer than having trousers with a fixed liner. 
they're going to cost around 200 pounds a pair and that would come on top of the 269 pounds 99 price of this jacket in current pricing that's actually not bad for a jacket with a removable waterproof membrane and overall i found this to be a decent jacket I have to admit that it's not really got the hefty weather protection you'll want if you're riding in the worst weather at all times of the year. But if you're after something with the flexibility to cover summer and reasonable periods of ropey weather when you need it to do that, the Brevin isn't at all a bad option. Now, one other thing that I think we've really got to cover is this color. It's very, very distinctive. Furigan describe it as brown sand and anthracite. In the time that I've been wearing it, it's been called a few other things by people who've seen it, including one that definitely rhymes with the last syllable in anthracite. It definitely divides opinions. There are people who like it and there are people who absolutely hate it. Thankfully, there are other options, including a new plain black option that Furigan have very sensibly decided to add to their 2023 collection. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Furigan Brevent 3W1 textile jacket. But if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.